Bitch, if you want a burger, bitch, a burger. eat a burger. Bitch, yeah. if you want a fair fry, bitch, a fair fry. eat a fair fry. If you want a burger, eat a burger. <laughs> that guy is currently in jail right now facing 12 years for supplying fentanyl to a woman who then overdosed. Yo, so we back in here for another edition after your mother and I'll never understand these TikTok videos. This bald head bitch went on TikTok, made a video, eating a burger, talking about the, um, I guess he was a TikToker that he was indicted back in 2018. It says that he received five to 12 years and four months in federal prison for supplying fentanyl to a woman that later died that year. Uh, Michael Steen, 27, who is also known as a comedian named Young Poppy in social media, could have received a life term in prison. Yada, yada, yada. The victim was 33. The only identified by the initials MP in the court record. It says the, doc the woman died in her Ramona home on July 9th, 2018, the same day she purchased the drug from Steen. Um, says Steen pleaded guilty to conspiracy to distrib fin distribute fentanyl. His girlfriend Raquel Ra Ra Racharin, 23, pleaded guilty to possession of a mixture of drugs, including fentanyl, with the intent to distribute. She was sentenced May 6th to a credit for time served on three years probation, according to court records. Steen sold 25 pills containing fentanyl for $650 to an undercover drug agent in Steen's Mercedes Benz. I don't know why they worded it like that. It was he sold his shit in his car in a parking lot during the investigation, the record says. Now, this is where shit gets real weird because it says he supplied a woman and she died that same day. It also says that he has sold $650 to an undercover drug agent. So makes me believe that the undercover drug agent was the woman. Or did he sell it to an agent and the agent sold it to I don't know. This doesn't really flash up, like flesh out exactly what happened. All I say is it probably was a federal agent that was a drug addict. Typically they are. And also, I don't believe that people that sell drugs should be liable for people that overdose on them. One, because they died doing what they love. And two, drug dealers don't seek out drug heads. They seek out the drug dealers. When they find out that you holding, they call you. They come to where you at. If you sloppy, they come to your house. I don't I've never met a drug dealer that went to a crackhead's house. That's why there's crack houses. They don't they don't go to your house. You come to them. So I find it like I don't know. I think it's just because it's a bunch of clear people overdosing on fentanyl and opioids and shit like that that now it's turned into a medical crisis back when people were selling cocaine and crack in the 80s and 90s it was a drug epidemic and niggas got mass incarcerated and i don't remember anybody going to prison because they overdosed they sold some crack to somebody and they overdosed so i find it real bias on the american government's part um yeah and then they, like as a drug dealer you can't necessarily regulate how much a person's gonna do maybe she took too much of the shit i don't know what i say is free the guy uh, i've read other reports that says that he's supposed to get out later next year so free the guy um in any event if y'all like this video y'all know what to do and i'm out